Hello and welcome. My name is N3Vapor, but you can call me Vapor. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how you can turn your phone into a webcam. Hi, my name is N3Vapor, but you can call me Vapor. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link is in the description below. Uh, also, make sure you go ahead and join our Discord. We have a wonderful stream help section where we answer all your tech and streaming needs. And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So for this video, we're going to be specifically working with the Elgato Screen Link software. So this software is free from Elgato if you are uh, using it for less than 15 minutes at a time. However, I'm going to make the assumption that 99% of you are going to be using it for more than 15 minutes at a time. So you'll want to buy the pro version, which is a one-time charge of $9.99. Uh, you're also going to need to download some companion software for Windows or Mac. That software is free and the link's going to be in the description below. It's the Elgato 4K Capture software. Uh, I believe that's what it's called, but regardless, it's something of that nature. So to get started, we're going to go into the ScreenLink Pro software. We're going to uh, click on the Get Started section, and that's going to be where we get things going. The first thing it's going to tell you to do is to enable screen recording. In order to do that, you're going to want to go to your settings. You're going to want to choose your control center, which is just under general. Then we're going to choose customize controls. And you're going to want to make sure that screen recording is moved up into the top section. If it's not, just scroll down. It's in alphabetical order and click on screen record and that will move it up to the top section. Now, back over to our Elgato software. The second thing you're going to need to do is download the latest version of the application. That is the 4K Capture Utility software. That link is in the description below. Just click on that, install it for Windows or Mac, whatever the software of your uh, your choosing is, and go from that direction. Next, it's going to mention that you want to have your phone and your uh, your computer on the same network. That's probably not an issue for most of you, but it will not work unless they're on the same network. Finally, uh, you're going to go ahead and find Screen Link and Control Center. So in order to do that, you just bring down your Control Center, hard press on the little screen capture here, I have it recording right now, so I can't show you that. And it will give you an option to choose what application you're going to use. Finally, uh, you're gonna start broadcasting your screen. So select screen link and hit start broadcasting. Now for this, you're going to go and you're gonna receive this in the 4K utility engine. So I will uh, put a video up here for a second for you to show you where that's at. But you're gonna go into your device settings and then screen link will show up there for you. Uh, to stop a broadcast, all you're going to do is drag down, open up your utilities, uh, your control center, and hit the stop button. And here is uh, here's the big thing to be watching for when you're setting this entire thing up. Uh, if you have the 4K utility uh, engine open, it's not going to appear as a source in OBS. However, if you you have to open it up initially in your first install to enable it as a source. So open it, select the device, get it enabled, then close 4K, at 4K Utility Engine, and you'll be able to go in and add that as a source within your OBS. So what does this look like, you might, add, you might ask yourself. Well, we're going to go ahead and broadcast. So we're going to turn on our screen link. And I'm going to attach mine to this little tripod right here. So you don't have to use a tripod just like this. You can use anything you have around the house, but this is going to give you a fantastic quality. So we're on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to that source so you can see what this looks like. So as you can see, we're now being captured from our webcam. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be popping up directly uh, into your stream. You can now take this camera anywhere and use it anywhere you want to. Something to be aware of is I have found a little bit of desync uh, in the audio in the video. Specifically, my video from this camera is getting to my stream PC a little bit slower. That's partly due to how my network's designed. 
uh, my stream PC is not actually connected to the exact same router that my Wi-Fi is coming off of. That is going to give it a little bit of a delay. You'll see a little bit different, uh, different situation. If that's you, what you can do is you can delay your video and audio devices by, uh, you know, however many milliseconds you're going to need to do. For me, that's going to be, judging from the delay, about 200 to 300 milliseconds, so two to three seconds worth of time. Uh, but once you get that sync put in there and you fine tune it, this is a wonderful option for you that's going to create amazing video quality, I might add. I'm looking at this. This looks really similar to my DSLR as far as the overall video quality. Full screen. This is what you normally see. And lastly, one more time. Let's look at that phone camera. So you really cannot go wrong with this. It is a beautiful, beautiful picture for a $10, time, uh, $10 one time charge. You're just going to want to also put a charger here because this is going to wreck your battery life real quick uh, if you don't have a charger. And something that I'm going to start using in my stream is I'm going to use this as the ability for me to move and go to other places while I'm streaming. So if I want to go downstairs and into the kitchen. I can take you with me and you can go along with that experience because you can enable the microphone within your phone to also work. So honestly, if you don't have a great microphone, this may be a good solution for both your microphone and for your video. And then you're, de then you're only going to worry about the game sound and game video timing. So it'd be a real easy solution on that end. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. As a reminder, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link is in the description below. On the channel, you're going to find all kinds of great advice on streaming gear, tech, and how to utilize some of these things within your channel. Uh, coming up uh, next week, I will have a video out on how to use a GoPro as a webcam as well. Uh, I'm waiting for a GoPro to come in on order. Once I have that, we'll get that video filmed. Definitely join the Discord. In there, we have our stream help section where we help you with all your, your gadget and stream help needs. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it helps us build the channel and move up higher up in YouTube's algorithm. I'll continue to put out two videos a week for you on all kinds of great streaming and tech tech updates. I wasn't accusing uh, anybody. The only person I've seen near the reactor while that, I was on the camera. That's true. So, I mean, I didn't see the kill happen, but I, I was with Devo all the way up until that point. And then yep, Kawhi and I came, came up on them together. So, I mean, she could have killed before, uh, before coming down to where we were. Yeah, she could have. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's Kawhi. I think it's Kawhi. So... Let's just put it this way, y'all vote me off, y'all lose, because it's two on two. Well, like something, uh, already yeah, already that happened. seems like an yeah, imposter defense. already happened. Y'all lose. GG. Eh, 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 ah! Very confident y'all <laughs> lose. No. You got Easy! Oh, Easy! <laughs> you son of a- You did as much as you don't kill at the same time! <laughs>